To solder up your circuit board, um, you'll need a few supplies. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab a resistor. This is not the right resistor value for yours, but this is just a resistor to be an example. You need your circuit board that you've designed. I've shown this. This is the board that I've given the files for. Um, what I've done is taken a very fine tip Sharpie and put some text on there so that I would know what's what. You also need three wires. One will be your 5 volts, one will be your ground, one will be your signal. You'll need wire strippers. You'll need solder, which is, there's a whole spool of solder, but we just need a little tiny bit. You'll need a soldering iron. You want to moisten the sponge. I haven't here, but that's because I'm not going to really use the sponge. But you want to use the sponge to get off any excess solder. And you might need helping hands. And what these do is hold the circuit board in place for you so you don't burn yourself while you're doing it. So for this board, as you can see here, I've drawn a little resistor symbol between there. That is my known resistance value. So I'm going to take this resistor, and instead of drilling holes or anything in the board, I'm going to bend this such that it has a little touch here and a little touch there without touching any of the other copper. So the way you do it is bend it up and then bend it backwards so that you have something like this. And then you'll do the same on the other side. Bend it out, bend it backwards to up. And so you have these two little touch points. And you want to angle them such that they touch those two round spots and only those two round spots. So the next step is going to be to actually solder. So I'm going to clip my board here and arrange these little helping hands such that there's no stress on the parts, but the parts fit where I want them to be. So you can see how the angles touch. Well, let's uh, see if we can refocus. That's about as good as we're going to get. The angles touch just at those round points. And so now to solder. The first thing you need to solder is the tip needs to have just a very tiny amount of solder on it. This is called tinning the tip. That helps melt the solder. Now do not put solder here and then try to place it on the board. That will not work well. The way you solder is you apply the heat of the soldering iron to the junction. So if you see where the, the connection of where this bent resistor touches the pad, I'm going to apply heat right there and then I'm going to feed the solder into that point until just a small amount bubbles over. And now that's connected. You want to give it some time to cool before touching it, but that's a, a solid mechanical connection. I can move the whole thing now. You want to do the same thing with this other end. So I'm going to apply heat to both the pad and the, the pin of the resistor. And apply just a tiny bit of solder. And you want to have a nice, smooth connection over the pins and the pad. So that is soldering the resistor in place. The next thing we want to do is solder the wires. So I'm going to actually take these wires and cut them in half. Well, because I want the pin on one side to plug into my Arduino. So I'm going to cut it in half and then using the wire gauge here, you're going to stick this into some place where it fits perfectly and you pull and that strips the plastic off of that wire. Can you see that? Maybe it's too too small or too close. Let me have a black background and maybe you can see it there. So what I'm going to do with this piece is I'm going to do what's called tinning the wire. So now I'm going to take the solder and just put a tiny amount of solder 
on the wire. So now there's a tiny ball of solder on the wire. And this wire, the white one, I'm going to use as my analog output. So I can solder it to any place right here that's connected between this resistor and the test pad. I'm going to choose to put it right in the middle here. So what you can do to make sure there's a good connection is put a tiny amount of solder directly on the pad already. And then now that I've tinned my wire, I have some solder here, I have some solder there, I just touch them together and heat them up until they both melt. And then they cool together. And now that's a solid connection as well. I'll do the same with the... This is our 5 volt signal. I'll strip that. I'm going to tin it with a little bit of solder. I'll do the same with the black here. I'm going to tin that, and now I'm going to rotate my circuit around. I'm going to apply a little bit of solder to my 5 volt pad. Try not to directly breathe in the fumes, they're not great for you. Uh, I'm going to also apply just a tiny amount of solder to the grounding pad, just a little bubble. And I will heat up and connect my 5 volts and my ground wire. Now, at this point, you might notice I have a little bit of overlap from this pin to that. Those were already connected, so that's okay. But you don't want any other connections there. So, after you've done this, you want to take a pair of diagonal cutters or wire cutters and snip off the excess wires from your resistor. So now at this point, you have your 5 volts in your ground, you can plug into your Arduino. You have your analog input, you plug into your analog input. And these square pads is where you're going to put your unknown resistance. And you're going to touch it to it. Uh, let me grab another resistor very quickly. It's going to do what it knows to do. So, once that's plugged in, you will take the resistor and bend these leads, hold this flat, and make sure that these pins touch those pads. And what should happen is you should read a voltage off of this analog pin. Your code should convert that into the, it should do a formula to convert that voltage into the resistance value of the unknown resistor. And that's it.